this should work. Where, where is Paul? Finally. Here yeah, you are. <laughs> Oh my god. I had no clue that it doesn't work on the computer. <laughs> so this is my first IGTV on Instagram. Can you believe this? <laughs> you see we are trying to do very how do you say new things. We are trying to do new things right now. Absolutely. Yeah. How are you? It's nice to see your I'm, face. <laughs> I'm so good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I mean, I'm I'm yeah. happy to see all of you somehow technical wise and we are computer and Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah. So, how is everything in Bali going? How do you feel there? Everything is uh, mellowed down. It's um it's not that stricter as in other countries. Okay. But just recent news says that it might become a bit stricter. Oh, really? So so far it's yeah, so far it's really good. Mm-hmm. Balinese people are so good, so respectful and we just have to go with the masks on which mm-hmm. we are not used to. Mm-hmm. And using a lot of sanitizing, uh mm-hmm. the disinfection, mm-hmm. disinfectant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still washing hands a lot. You still can go out yes. and, and move as normal and no restrictions to go out. Okay. Yeah, so far no restrictions. Okay. Um, there are only few restaurants which are open now. And mm. uh, we just got the news that um, we cannot make groups of people to meet. So... Mm. just maintaining that okay i see okay so but you have somehow of lockdown so that the restaurants are not open and i think the hotels are not open either or um yeah around 271 hotels shut down already in bali okay. and uh, yeah and uh, just few restaurants are open okay okay Well, mm-hmm. it must be quite very quiet right now without too It's many... very quiet and very beautiful, very meditative. We can hear the birds. Mm-hmm. We can see the dragonflies and butterflies and oh. Wow, there is no traffic at all. Mm-hmm. It's good really beautiful. Nature. Yeah, good. Good for very good for nature, yes. Oh. How so... are you and Roland and Mila? We're all doing great. <laughs> I mean, we're yeah. healthy. Um yeah well here in Switzerland it's the same thing we you you have we have the lockdown everything is closed but still we can go out and join the sun for a few hours and then mm-hmm. go back many are doing home office um mm-hmm. the the yoga studios are closed yes since mm-hmm. one month a bit longer than one month Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why we are doing so many things online and with you on Sunday yeah. too. Um yes. try to keep the community spirit on and try to keep the yoga on as much as we can. Yes. And um yeah, it is actually quite I mean from one side it's very difficult of course financial wise and all the things we have been organizing but I think it's for everyone the same, isn't it? Yes. So from one day to the other you needed to cancel and to stop everything. But Absolutely. We have learned a lot. We have learned a lot yeah. and um as I think that everything we have been learning during this last years and mm-hmm. years and years yes. <laughs> now yes. it became a practice. It a is real it is practice. A big... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And on some We get to experience true yoga now. Yes, now we need to experience the true yoga. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And on Sunday you will be with us doing some yes. bhakti yoga. Um actually yes. you are open the bhakti yoga week at Atta Yoga. So Oh wow, I'm it's... very excited. <laughs> yeah, we decided because you are teaching on Sunday and one week later Dave Stringer is teaching. So we said, Beautiful. okay, let's have a bhakti week. because it's a beautiful opening and a beautiful closing. <laughs> and yes, beautiful. Yes, and I would love to talk about 
back to yoga with you so that we can keep some taste and information to our community. What does it mean, bhakti yoga, to you? Bhakti, Sikh, yes, be mantra. before that, uh, just wanted to double check. The Sunday is going to be Instagram or is it going to be Zoom? <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Puno. I will inform you. <laughs> Because I'm just getting used to Zoom now. <laughs> no, don't worry. Zoom. It's only an exception, but we are doing here. <laughs> no, now I now I think I'm I'll get used to this too. <laughs> It's a new thing. Next time I'll have a stand for this phone. <laughs> right now I'm just holding it in my hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We are learning, Puno. Oh. We are learning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you think you can hold the phone right now while talking to me and let me know something about Bhakti Yoga? Absolutely. You know what? Let me get something to, to put uh, behind and so that I can. Uh, of course. Of yeah. course. Just give me a moment. Yeah, yeah. In the meanwhile, people are jumping in, and yes, it's nice uh, to see. How does this is? How does this look? Good. It's good. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just adjusting. Yes. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. Works. Yay. Now you can relax. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, So, can you please repeat your question? Yes. Tell us something about bhakti, bhakti mantras. I mean, you are the master of it. You are the master of these meditations, and your path has been mostly bhakti, uh, the singing, kirtan. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Bhakti, as we all know, come. the meaning of it in english is devotion where does bhakti come from it comes from bhava bhava means feeling how we feel in our heart so it's the let's say let's talk about uh, the ordinary love in this world that we experience bhakti is uh, a heightened i would say million times that much love that one has towards the existence towards the universe towards god towards each and every being mm -hmm. yeah and and there is so much more it's sometimes words are short you know you what you feel it's like when you ask someone uh, who is uh, a person who is mute and you give him the best tiramisu for instance mm -hmm. and you ask how does the tiramisu taste he or she cannot explain the taste because you know that's how bhakti is so it's um, one of the embodiment i have experienced uh, uh, the bhakta the devotee is uh, hanuman hanuman is one of the best devotee of lord rama who is ready to do anything and everything for lord rama mm -hmm. he is one of the best embodiment that uh, a uh, a person can experience through through a devotee uh, a pure bhakti mm -hmm. Yeah, and and it is also like a different taste for everyone too, isn't it? As you said, absolutely. It's yeah. it is personal to personal. everything. So bhakti is also praising the divine because you know the world that we live in. Let's say, for example, I tell you, Carolina, you're so beautiful, and I mean it. You feel good, right? Of course, isn't it? <laughs> so so is the divine. the divine is not different from us so a true authentic praise the divine also love praise loves praises so all that we are doing 
the kirtan singers the devotional bhaktas is we are praising the divine mm-hmm. and we are giving thanks to all the blessings that we have all received mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. through the mantras through the through the chanting through the meditations it's all dedicated like a a thanks comes from the heart Would you say that the real yoga will be bhakti yoga? Let's say there are four kinds of people. yoga. Uh, <laughs> you know, it uh, it all depends on every individual. I wouldn't uh, say uh, what works for me may not work for mm-hmm. somebody else. Mm-hmm. So, as we all know, the four kinds of yoga: the raja yoga, mm-hmm. the karma yoga, mm-hmm. the gnana yoga. and the bhakti yoga mm-hmm. what i could say about bhakti yoga is one of the easiest yoga mm-hmm. so if you are looking for shortcuts bhakti yoga is the best <laughs> yes yeah. this is true yeah. it goes just directly to the heart and it goes straight is one one time yeah absolutely what we say about mantra when we talk about bhakti yoga there is mantra really like that's it i mean what we say about what is mantra let's keep it simple what is mantra so this word mantra man means mind tra is a technique which quietens the mind see a mind is all over the place the mind is divided into so many fragmented parts mm-hmm. and we have tried so many ways so many times to quieten this mind now mantras are tools it's a technology of consciousness mm-hmm. when we use this technology it quietens the mind mm-hmm. when the mind is running all over the place when we chant mantras when we do kirtan when we do bhakti yoga it takes you to the deepest core of your heart mm-hmm. instantaneously mm-hmm. so those are mantras and there are so many various varieties of mantras which carry very powerful frequencies mm mm-hmm. mm tell me more about that so the way they are pronounced the annotations this sanskrit language or any other language it carries a certain frequency mm-hmm. so everything is vibrations everything is sound mm-hmm. yeah so i could say the primordial sound of the universe the om mm-hmm. is non stop vibrating running and when we are in silence when we are quiet we can hear the sound of silence and it's nothing but the sound om mm-hmm. so they carry a very powerful vibrations mm-hmm. which aligns everything in our system the physical body the mental the emotional the spiritual everything gets aligned mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's something I love. I love bhakti yoga. And very naturally you feel so happy for no reason. Mm-hmm. When you chant, when you sing, mm-hmm. when you do kirtan, mm-hmm. you know, it it naturally gives you a very beautiful feeling. Mm-hmm. You feel so good about it. Mm-hmm. That's true. So you think it is because of the connection of those mantras and the singing what is what do you think about the voice itself person singing what what happens into the body when we are singing so this sounds when we are creating it creates a vibration in the body mm-hmm. where um, these vibrations when they go deeper into the body with those mantras with those chantings it's it has its own intelligence it knows exactly what a person requirements are needs are it goes exactly to that place mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it, um, it could be a skin issue, it could be a stress, it could be, you know, longing to meet someone, anything and everything. So it goes, it has its own intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know, there is this uh, saying in our language, Jesse jiski bhavna, prabhu tesa hi fal de. Bhavna, bhavna means the wishes, the desire, the intent. Mm -hmm. However, a person, whatever intents, intent they have, so the divine takes a picture and manifests exactly what we wish for. Mm. So that means for the yogi, he doesn't need to have a clear idea what this mantra should happen or should help this person because it is a higher energy taking care of it. See, I would say it is, it is good to have the clarity. Mm -hmm. It is good to have clarity, to to have a clear intent. And of course, we put in effort. Mm -hmm. These two elements are very important. Mm -hmm. And allowing, giving space to the divine intervention to happen. Mm -hmm. Let's say if someone doesn't have the clarity, mm -hmm. so they can ask for clarity. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want. I am lost. I'm in the middle of the crossroads. I don't know where to go. You know, let's say this current situation that we are going through. Many people are confused. Many people don't know what to do. They are lost. So in this moment, chanting mantra, listening to the Kirtan, listening to these mantras, naturally will help them to quieten their mind. Mm -hmm. And naturally it will give them power, it will give them energy to work in a, in a better way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? So yeah. if we want to better humanity, we need to better ourselves. So there are many ways that we all are doing in our own beautiful ways that we are doing. Mm -hmm. Bhakti Yoga is the same. It helps us to, to ignite the true, true potentials of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so beautiful. That's really fun. I'm so looking forward to sing with you on Sunday. Mm. Me too. I received a question. Uh, I received many questions. I tried to put them together. But one of these sure. is, um, how do you came to do what you do? I mean, of course, I know you. I know your whole story. But there are yes. people who don't know that. How yes. do you came to be and to do what you are doing? So I'm born in a family uh, where my father is a priest, is a kirtan singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used to be a businessman, but he quit all the business and uh, he entered into kirtan. Mm -hmm. And when I was born, I think it already started. He used to sing. He must be singing to my mom when I was in the womb. So I used to listen to that. And at the age of five, I remember... Um, I was already singing with him on the stage, doing kirtan, wow. and we were we were in the temples. We were born and brought up in the temple. Mm -hmm. So every morning, every evening, mm -hmm. at least twice a day, we uh, we were doing kirtans. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I was not very much interested in kirtan. I was interested in playing. But sometimes, you know, my dad used to pull me and, uh, you know, with force, uh, he used to put me on the stage and allow me to sing <laughs> all those mantras. So since that age, I've been into this uh, line. There were some time in my years that, where I didn't do any kirtan, two, three years when I was in Russia, mm -hmm. I was working for a company and... Um, I think it was only once or twice that I, because I was so busy in the in the work and business, mm -hmm. I didn't get that. I'm, uh, aside from that, I think my whole life I've been in Kirtan. How in beautiful Bhakti. is that, huh? Lucky you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're still doing Kirtan with your father, isn't it? Yes. Because he yes. lives with you in Bali, yeah. He is living with us in Bali and he's very, very... 
whenever we talk about kirtan he's just oh. it gives me it gives him so much happiness how cool is that but you i would all... love to bring him one time in switzerland yes you so should that he can, i would love yeah. to meet him i would love to meet yeah. him and um so you always sing in sanskrit or they are no i i sing in different languages mm -hmm. i sing uh, in punjabi gurmukhi mm -hmm. the kundalini yoga tradition mm -hmm. that is that's what my my true uh, my mother tongue is you know we started in that mm -hmm. um so qurbani sanskrit hindi urdu devnagari mm -hmm. english spanish yes few languages <laughs> yes yes i remember that's beautiful and you do and also so kind in of swiss german <laughs> and yes i know i know that song <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I remember I mean when I met you um yeah, it was in Odaya, I remember it was in Bulgaria where we met and um one of the amazing things I think that's so special in you is that you can be um a completely still person, meditation master, quiet, but you also can party hard. and you can be really firing on stage tell me this this how what is this for you to live this quietness stillness and fire at the same time because it is what actually i love when i come to your kirtan i love that and you're very similar like dave stringer but different of course yes. but this yes. fire it remains me uh, reminds me that life is not always stillness it can be yes. and have this quality of fire too tell me about this punu who has these two characters and is so beautiful to have see life is celebration mm. life is an adventure so in the in the stillness there is movement in the movement there is stillness so when you experience both let's say when you are still and you see the movements happening when you are moving and you are still mm -hmm. that's the beauty that's what i love and one cannot be rigid just sitting in meditation we also have to move we also have to do some asanas some dancing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. body is this this beautiful temple has been given to us to to explore to enjoy to mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um celebrate so why not mm -hmm. <laughs> i know you don't put this restriction to yourself and to life yeah that's no i don't i don't that's that's so beautiful yeah yeah the other um question was um can you say i mean of course but there was the question of it can you say that by singing mantras by singing bhakti by doing bhakti yoga you get into a higher a higher level of meditation absolutely mm. absolutely so few of my experiences i rarely share this so there were times when i was singing i was uh, invited into different dimensions mm -hmm. with gods and goddesses where um, it was completely different uh, atmosphere vibration smells heightened states of consciousness and senses mm -hmm. where i was invited to sing among them mm -hmm. so what happens is when you are singing when you when the singer is gone all remains is just singing mm -hmm. when you are lost when the ego is gone it's not punu who is singing singing is just happening through punu 
when one reaches that state it is ecstatic it's ecstasy mm-hmm. it's nothing can can uh, compare or nothing can buy that mm-hmm. it takes you to the heightened state of meditations which we call it ananda see we are nothing but sat chit ananda which is existence consciousness intelligence and bliss so kirtan this bhakti yoga takes us to that experiential state of existence consciousness intelligence and bliss yes definitely can you tell us what are we doing on sunday what does our yogis needs to expect in zoom in zoom <laughs> on yes sunday <laughs> yes so we'll be starting with some om chanting mm-hmm. and then we will go into some easy mantras mm-hmm. where i would love to invite all of you to sing with me to enjoy to celebrate to dance to to immerse into the bhakti into devotion and uh, if you feel like just listening it's perfectly fine mm-hmm. see kirtan is the beauty of kirtan is whether you sing or you just listen it has mm-hmm. the same benefit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i will see what i can do maybe i can because i'm working with zoom maybe i'll be able to put the lyrics on the on the share screen okay so people can see the lyrics and chant with me oh that's great that's so nice uh-huh. so yeah. we have the class on sunday the 26th of april 10 to 11:15 swiss time and this all about bhakti and the best of devotion Mm. Yes. So much looking forward to that. I'm and, so uh, excited. <laughs> and I hope to see you in life soon. I hope we can make it in August. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, looking forward for that. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for talking and for taking time here on live for us and to see you. And then we see each other on Sunday. Yes, thank you so much Carolina. Thank you. Please give my regards to Roland thank and you. big hug and love and kisses to Queen Mila. Queen Mila exactly. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> How is your dog Blessings. doing? Are you still happy? Oh, we oh. Yes, we have four dogs now. Oh, you have four now. Wow. Yes. Look at you. I will love them more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When oh. you come to Bali, you will see them. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for no and stay in touch. <laughs> Thank I'm you sorry. so much and my my much love to your community to all the people who have joined this live. Thank you and see you all on Sunday. On Thank Sunday. you so much Carolina. Thank you. Bye dear. Blessings. Bye. Blessings. Bye. Bye. Bye.